Okay, our job today is to replace this post, which, as you may see, has been eaten out by white ants. It looks like they've had a good bite at it. So what we're going to do is take it out from the top and then we're going to replace it at the bottom and that's going to be the interesting bit because we want to do as little damage as possible down the bottom and then repair it. So the first thing we want to do is prop the chain so that it doesn't fall. Then I'm going to block below it because I want it to let it not move. Be nice and hard in there. Alright, nice. Okay, now I'm going to remove the brace, which is onto this. Okay, so next we want to get rid of the bolts. Now there's a couple of ways to do this. You can either just hit it with the angle grinder, grind it straight off, which I might do with the bottom one. The problem I've got is if you see where that bolt is there, even if I grind it off, it's going to be a pain to get out. So what I'm probably going to do is going to grab a metal saw and I'm going to put a metal blade and put it in my reciprocal saw oh, and just cut straight down there, which is where the gap is. And it should take out both those bolts. Then I can just remove it and knock them out both sides. All right, and for the second one, we'll grind the back. There you go. It's a bit easier with the angle grinder, but the top one was a problem. See, it's still in there. I'm going to use just a tech screw. It doesn't have to come all the way out. And now I'm just going to cut the pole, pull it out. Okay, so there you can see there's actually a metal stirrup there, which is excellent. So I'm going to have to break all that out and get that out. Probably break around the sides as well, but it means I don't have to replace that footing. I'll put it back into the stirrup. There you go. Here's your little white ants. Had a nice little feast. Because that just broke off. 
Okay, so obviously you put a bolt back in there, through there, or some kind of pin, it's going to have to be at least 120 or more out the side. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to cut maybe 160 because you get bolts. See if we can't get a 160 bolt. Cut that one out and across like so. And then I'll cut maybe about 60 on this side. Yeah, I might give myself 100. If I'm going to do it, obviously, because I've got to wrap it up. All right, so remember I said I wanted to do as little damage as possible because obviously the less damage I do, the less I have to patch. So let's see what we can come up with here. Okay, there you see, we've done as little damage as possible. We'll cut that bolt out. And you can see down the side there, there's another bolt. We'll cut that bolt out. Take the wood out and it'll be ready to, oops, sorry. Take the wood out and it'll have, be ready to have the post put in. Okay, so I'm looking at that bracket. Looks pretty good to me. Now we'll cut the pole and get it all correct. Okay, three measurements we want. And then I know how far it is from there, which is the bracket, bottom of the bracket, up to the bottom of that pole, which is 1910, so there. Okay, so I'm just going to double that down on a scrap piece of paper. I'm also chasing from there to there. So I know that that will get 240. And I also want to know how wide the pole is, which is actually 50. Now I'm going to go cut the post and show you how to do that. Our post, we've got our measurements. What we have to do now is cut the top. So we know. We want to come down 240, so we measure down 240, like so. And then with a, a set square, or a square, we're just going to go across it, like so. And we do the whole thing. And we twist. Okay, this is a really long hole. Okay, so that's 240. We know we want to come in 50. So we can measure in 50 from there, okay, and that's where we want to cut to, measure 50 up here, we're going to simply come across from there and put one in the middle because it's a little long, 
Okay. Measuring 50. I'm going to join the dots. And we're going to do, so that is what we're going to cut out. This bit here, this stays. So that's your wastage. Okay. So we'll do the other side as well. We're going to come in 50 from here. Fifty. And Fifty. And quickly measure across from that 240 to the 50 mark, which is right up there. And again, we're just literally joining the dots. And And again, this is our waste. So now we're just going to, with a circular saw, we're going to cut down this side, flip it over, cut down the other side, and then we're going to adjust it to 50 and cut across there. So I'll show you how that's done. Now one thing just to check when you're doing it, make sure your blade's straight. Okay, there's been a couple times where I haven't checked it and got caught out. And it makes it very, very difficult to get them to line up. Sorry. Sorry about that. The battery ran out. So let's just finish this cut. Now, notice I haven't gone past that line. I don't want to go past that line. Okay, otherwise it ends up being a bit orphan. Now, on your saw, you have the ability to adjust its height. Adjust it so that it just touches that, which will make it 50 mil. Okay, and then you, of course, cook the back. And then you're just going to cut across the front. All right, so you can see that we haven't cut past there. So what we're going to do is finish it off with a saw. Obviously a jack saw is better, but this is the only one I've got at the moment. I couldn't find my jack saw, so we're just going to take it right down. Take it along. Take it along a bit. And now as I roll it, I'm just going to do the front. Go. He is all cut. Now if you need to clean it up, clean it up with the chisel. Okay. 
and a few little taps. Right, and now you see that's nice and sharp. So it's beautiful. All right. Now we'll take that and cut the bottom once we're at the pole. Okay, so here's the bit I cut earlier. Obviously, this pole's not exactly the same width as that. And now we're going to measure from here down our. 1910, and I'll just double check that measurement. Yep, that's correct. And I'm just going to cut that off to the set square. I slightly levered this post up and I put just a little crowbar underneath the base there. Okay, so that will allow me to stand on it and just lift it enough because obviously the post is longer at a diagonal than it is when it's straight up. That'll put it back in place perfectly and take all the weight and give you an exact measurement down to the base there.
<clears throat> okay, so what I'm going to do at the bottom is rather than use the bolts, because uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to drill through straight, okay, I'm going to use these ones here, which are big, and I'll put them in each side, and then I'll use washers down each side to get my spacings. That's the easiest way to do it. Okay, let's put brace back on. Let's get that one out first. There you go. So I'm going to use these bolts. So obviously if I put nails back in them, it's not quite going to work. What's actually going to happen is it'll just come back out. So I've got my tape gun. It's here. You can see he comes through there. Line him up perfectly with where the last brace was. In. Okay, you should have a pretty good idea anyway, because the paint will be giving you a guide. So grab yourself another. There you go, just taking it in. Grab yourself one more. Again, and then that's it. You are brace. It'll take a hurricane to get that down. So there you have it, fellas. All done. Ready for a paint? Okay. Just run through quickly. I am. Um, reason I didn't want to do a big damage down the bottom is because when it's all patched up, it looks nice and neat. Up the top, because the pole was a little bit bigger, put in a piece of wood and hit with a bit of no more gaps. So a little bit of paint and a little bit of sanding will finish that off beautifully. Uh, it's come up very nice. And all strapped on, bolts are in place. And the goal is secure again. I hope you've learned something today. If you did and you like this video, please subscribe and I'll keep making them. Thanks.